Hello, my Capricorns. How are you doing? Capricorn season is coming to an end, so I thought I'd do a mid-January reading for you. And if spirit allows it, we'll do a February, okay? The reason why you're not seeing my whole face is because I look like death ran over. Um, but I also kind of wanted you to see the cards here, okay? All right. So let's see what we got going on. All right, Capricorn, to the OGs who's been with me from the beginning. What's good? <laughs> For the new ones, hi, babies. It's Auntie Crystal here. And um, subscribe to your homie. I don't do always, always do tarot. You know, I do other teams besides tarot. So this is the full moon in Cancer. Yes, that's the energies I'm channeling right now. This is Monday. I'm off work today. So I get to focus on my Capricorns, okay? So let's see what's Mercury. There it goes. I already messed up with my words. It's going to be worse now. It's going to be worse. Let's see what message the Spirit has for Capricorn. Okay? I am a whole cornball for the new ones. The OGs know me. They know how I am. Okay. You have... You're very close to achieving your goal, Gibbous Moon. Okay, what y'all working on? Under the deck. Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. Some of you may have Sagittarius in your chart. So that's beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what activations are happening. Sacred geometry activations. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I look like a hot. I had makeup on earlier and my eyes watered the whole time. So <clears throat> I just can't. I can't do it today. Just can't. All right, here we go. They're watering right now. Spirit for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. What activations are happening for them for this full moon in Cancer? Guys, this is the time. We're not, I told you, we're not taking no stank ash 2021 energy into 2022. This is the moon to cut it, especially emotional ties that no longer serve you. Channel. Ooh. I don't know. Have I seen this one before? You have soul time. The frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge. One that embraces the concept that while the corporal body is mortal the soul is timeless limitless and infinite okay <clears throat> under the deck what well come on this is so pretty but it really holds onto my cards under the deck heart chakra the frequency of the heart chakra <laughs> my capricorn homie got this the frequent frequency of the heart chakra, the green flower of life, supports our capacity to love deeply and unconditionally. Its healing properties harmonize the mind and the body. So, spirit um, is wanting you to work on your heart chakra overall. Okay, your luck is on your side. You are very close to achieving your goal, but you got to use that heart space you got to heal the heart space that may be um blocking you and your manifestation okay all right sorry guys <laughs> i'm a mess i'm glad y'all love me for me and not because you know i gotta wear makeup or anything all right angel messages for this full moon in cancer for my goats the greatest of all time the goats oops The angel messages for Capricorn. Oh, flip right all the way over. <clears throat> okay, if you're um, wondering about something, it's a no. I mean, it flipped all the way upside down. So for some of you, this may resonate for whatever you're worrying about. It's a no, okay? Inner child healing is the overall energy, okay? So shadow work, shadow work, shadow work. Hope it didn't hurt your ear. Shadow work, children. Stop being ashamed of who you are and what you've been through. Honor your past experiences. Honor the real you. Honor the true you. Okay? <clears throat> Don't let your shadow be your enemy. Let your shadow be your bestie. Okay? Your shadow has a tendency to attack 
you if it's not healed because of all the stuff that we've done as children since children all the trauma and all the things that we've done we've just buried it and the inner child kind of took all that in and it created a shadow or whatever so what you want to do with that energy because it's you your shadow is you so with that energy what you want to do is heal it because it deserves peace too all right and once you heal your shadow you won't hear the negative thoughts the um you know the insecurities the um thing that i used to have um imposter syndrome things like that your shadow will back you up and your shadow will protect you but you know you won't hear that in the spiritual community will you i'll just tell you to Kill your ego and your shadow. And why are you killing parts of yourself off when you can just transform it and be brand new? And honor your experiences because your experiences is what made you who you are. Whew. All right. Let me see if I can do a Celtic cross spread for you. All right. This is for mid-January for Capricorn. For the full moon in Cancer. What messages do you have for the goats? Yeah, I'm definitely going to do a Celtic cross. That's what I'm feeling. I have like two um, decks like popping up in my head. I just got to make some room here real quick. Okay. Still don't think it's going to work out, but let's see what happens. Okay. Let's, let's just work. Let's, we're going to try. We're going to try. All right. So you're coming in as the lovers. Mm, Gemini energy. Um, <clears throat> communing with your higher self, becoming one, divine masculine and divine feminine, becoming one. You could be dealing with a soulmate energy. Crossing you is the Knight of Cups, romance. Getting someone is just wanting to get booed up with you. Pisces energy. I know, friend, Pisces will not stay out of your reading. I know, babe. Um, your foundation is the tower. <laughs> Scorpio Aries energy, you know, um, revelations, things, the universe saying, hey, you're not on the right path. So let us push you on the right path. You know, tower scares the shit out of people, but it's really for your highest good. Um, recent past is the seven of pentacles. You waiting, you know, just watching your manifestation, everything that you've worked for, watching your fruit grow, observing it, looking at your stability, looking at everything, observing everything, right? What you're thinking about crowning your energy four of cups you're just not in a very good place emotionally capricorn and i think it has something to do with the relationship sorry oh boy um near future nine of wands wounded <laughs> you're just tired capricorn you're tired i'm gonna <clears throat> i'm gonna do the reading in a minute just hang on let me just get them all out here attitude you're coming in as a seven of swords you're like i'm ready to strategize and get the fuck out of this situation um environments What's surrounding you? The hermit, Virgo energy. You're ready to take care of you. You're ready to go within. You don't even want to go out. You're just so annoyed with either your soulmate, a job, something like that. Um, hopes and fears. King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Okay. So you're hoping to be this loving, compassionate, stable person. King of Pentacles, you know, very loving, very supportive, zaddy energy. And then your outcome is the full Aquarius or um, Aries energy. You know, you're just trusting the universe. You're like, you know what, we're out here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. All right. So from what I'm seeing, for some of you, you're in a relationship and it's stressing you to fuck out. It's like... I put so much into this. I have nurtured this relationship. I have done all the things. I've done all the work. And for some reason, I am miserable. And be mindful. Always be present in your situation. I know um, spirit, the universe, gave us this energy of non-attachment. Meaning you have a desire. You want something. And then you go after it. Um, and then after you get it, you're like, well, that wasn't as exciting as I thought it was going to be. I want something else now. It's a human nature thing. It's just the way we are. But with that being said, always be very, um, grateful for your current situation. Okay. Always want to be in a place of gratitude. <clears throat> 
But yeah, you're tired, man. I mean, God damn, look at that. You're wore out. The foundation is the tower. Something was revealed to you, shook you out of your, your core. It just seems like the universe is trying to remove you out of a situation. And it's kind of wearing you out. So now you are in the attitude of, well, I got to take care of me. I got to start saving. I got to start building my coin. You know, this person could hurt the shit out of me. So I, I've got to strategize and do what's best for me. Good for you. Because you could feel like somewhat. It's another. Let me go ahead and rewind this. This is my fuckery card. Okay. Um, also, it means you feel like something was taken from you. But where we are not victims in 2022, we're taking back what was taken from us and we are strategizing and we're going to do what's best for who? You, Capricorn. Okay. Um, your environment um, is the hermit. This is you going within. This is you like, I don't even want to be in a relationship anymore. I've, I've just rather be by myself, right? Hopes and fears. Hopes and or slash fears. King of Pentacles energy. Stable loving happy that's what you want that's what you're wanting all right but you can be this person without a relationship capricorn you're a goat you're the greatest of all times come on now and then the outcome is the fool this is you trusting the universe like okay so i heard you you gave me the tower i'm the wounded warrior what the fuck do i need to do because i cannot do this on my own okay and then clarifying we have the chariot <laughs> Cancer, moving on. Five of Cups, looking back at the past, you know, missing shit, and then the world closing of a chapter and a new cycle continuing. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful energy. For some of you, you may not want this, but look, the universe, God will keep showing you the same person. Well, the person that you're hanging on to that's not meant for you, if you keep hanging on to that person, that person's going to get meaner and meaner and meaner to you until you have to move on okay you're better than that i don't give a fuck how much you love them it's not worth being mistreated all right so the lovers clarified with the judgment again scorpio energy it's it's uh judgment could be one or two things it could be an end of a chapter a new cycle or it could be an um the situation closing but renewing in a beautiful way what's crossing you though is do i stay or should i go either way i mean you're gonna be blessed the universe is blessing you under the deck energy is this or no I'm sorry under the deck um what's clarifying the tower is the six of wands aries energy and this is you being celebrated by the universe and this is you realizing you know it may have been a job that didn't work out but that job treating you the way that they did Gave you a promotion and you got more money and, um, you know, they, they appreciate you. That's all we want, right? To be appreciated. So you're being appreciated. Good job. Um, clarifying Seven of Pentacles, the star, renewal, refreshment, Aquarius energy. Um, what you're thinking about, the Four of Cups, clarified by the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Again, could be dealing with a Taurus because it's in here. Um, you are researching you're studying you're, some of you need to get therapy and there's nothing wrong with that i don't ever preach against therapy um but you're seeking counsel you're getting advice you're like you're seeking your higher self because this is the high priest in tarot so you're like what do i do from here where do i go from here right all right nine of wands the wounded warrior clarified by the ace of swords you're just ready to cuss this motherfucker out you're just ready to be like you can go i mean Communication coming through, right? This could be your higher self coming to talk to you and you are finally listening because you're too tired to argue about it. You're too tired. Um, clarifying the seven of swords, the strategy is the sun. So Ra is supporting you. Ra is supporting you. So you have the sun, you have abundance, you have growth, you have stability, you have warmth, you have happiness, you have vitamin D, you have all the things, right? So you're doing the right thing. The hermit, clarified by the eight of cups. Yeah, you're ready to move on. You're just over, whether it's a job or a relationship, you're just over it. You're tired. You're doing what's best for you. All that emotional commitment you poured into, you're just turning your back on it and walking away from it. Um, King of Pentacles, your, your hopes and fears, clarified by the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. Again, um, you're just ready to um, go to fuck off. 
Um, again, your higher self is saying they're just ready to give you the advice and the wisdom that you're needing to come forward. Um, also, Knight of Swords is very fast, and this could be you feeling like this is happening so fast. You know, I never planned on being single. I thought this was my person. I thought this was my job. I thought this is where I was going to retire. Just remember, this is Mercury retrograde, and just you know, Mercury tells us to pause, to right, pause, take, take, take your time. All right, you're doing right by strategizing. The sun is shining down on you for that, so you're not being a fuckhead. You're just taking, you're being smart strategize don't be the victim and then the fool right you trusting the universe brings on the king of wands energy entrepreneurial freaking zaddy strong leo energy very strong very confident um very stoic confidence is key here with this one right and you come out very fiery very passionate and just having a new passion for life, right? Um, clarifying the chariot is, you know, the moving on. You're moving on from this shit. You're like, it's it's a wrap. I'm done. No more fighting. You're tired of fighting, Capricorn. You're over it. Clarifying the five of cups. You thinking of the past is going to be clarified by the high priestess. And this, you know, we have the high priest. Now we have the high priestess, divine feminine. Again, higher self is really coming through here, trying to pour into you. Stop focusing on what did not work out and look what you still have behind you. That's still there waiting for you to turn around. Okay, so what this shit did not work out. If you hang on to that frequency, you're going to bring it into the future and you don't want to attract that shit, right? And then the world endings, new beginnings. And the world is a Capricorn card, by the way. I didn't mean to not tell you that. Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, the endings of this shit. Okay, the burden the burden of this job, the burden of this fucking relationship, okay, or friendship. What relationship could be romance, could be friendship, whatever. But it's a burden. It puts you in the wounded warrior energy, right? You don't need that shit in your life. And this is definitely dealing with a uh, family situation. Yeah, I hate that. I hate to see that. I hate that your reading is whack. But, yeah, um, you guys need to uh do what's best for you okay all right hidden truth oracle let's get messier sorry capricorn for those but here's the thing um the way these planets are working and the way everything is shifting if your person is in your way of your growth, of you becoming a healer or being healed or um, growing and prospering in your destiny, if they are in the way of that, they will be removed. It doesn't matter how good the sex is, baby. It doesn't matter how cute they are, how wet, wet, or how big it is. It is over. Move on. Okay? Move on, Capricorn. If it's up to you. I ain't gonna tell you what to do. You work it. You work it out. But I just read what's going on, so it's up to you. Either you want happiness and peace, and for, um, you're gonna miss them. Trust me. If you've been with them forever, you're gonna miss them. But you know what? You're gonna love is being by yourself and not getting cussed out, not getting accused of anything, not being stressed out. The arguings, the fights, you know, the arguments. First thing, as soon as the sun rises, boy, they on your ass, aren't they? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. That's for somebody. Sometimes they lay awake thinking about you. Capricorn, they miss you. No more? Let's do one more. Sometimes they lay awake thinking about Capricorn. Whoa. We're going to run these through again, guys. Sometimes they lay awake thinking about Capricorn. Last one, Spirit. And I'm going to move on. Oh, I just heard this. So many things remind me of you. Okay. I left when I saw you with someone. For whoever that resonates with, okay? I feel like your person may be jealous. Um, maybe on the 
side. Um, insecure, things that they need to work on. I mean, Spirit said it's a no. I mean, it's a no. It's a no, guys. It's a, it's a no. It's a no. It's a no. You don't <sighs> hurt people, hurt people. I get that, but you need to hang up that Captain Save a Ho okay, right now. You need to put that shit in retirement and start saving yourself, Capricorn. Okay? This is your season. You should not be miserable on your season. That's bullshit. And now we're going into Aquarius season, you know? So, I hate that y'all are going through stress right now. You should be living your best life. It's 2022. You can't be going to New Year like this. This is whack. Bring that funky ass energy into this year. Deception. Someone is wearing a false ma self mask. <laughs> Try it again. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Narcissism. Fake. Mirroring you. Trash. Anything else? And when you get this funky energy off of you, you can make room. Yeah, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust. You got to trust the universe that they know what's best for you. You can't be out here. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I mean, damn. Uh, even the romance angels are like, that's all we got. We can't even tell you anything nice right now. Not until you focus on you. Okay, baby? All right. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me. Let's see what your divine power affirmation is. <laughs> You're like, thanks a lot, Crystal. What? Well, shit. I don't know, guys. I mean, you saw me pull the cards. I shuffled them. I did all the things. You're going to be successful and great once you remove old broke ass from you. Oh, bitter. You don't need to be around bitter. That's my West Virginia coming out. You know, little bitter ass, broke ass away from you. Capricorn, you're the greatest. You're the C. I call you the CEO of the astrology people for a reason. Understanding. I understand that everyone is doing their absolute best. Not Narcy, though. Not Narcy. My friend and I, we, she's with Capricorn. We call it the narcissistic spirit. We call it Narcy. Okay. You are doing your absolute best. And you know what? Let them honor their delusion. I mean, their experience. But it's not your job to fix them, boo-boo. You cannot will someone's destiny. You can't bend them to your will, honey. You can only work on your life. Because you're going to keep attracting karma and dumb shit and ignorance around you. And you get shit like this happening to you. You know, the universe is like, all right, I've had enough. I'm getting hot. I've had enough of Capricorn being this miserable. I've had it. Oh, okay. See? Spirit. Be known. I understand everyone is their own spirit. I just said that. And has their own divine path. I just said that. My role is to tune into my divinity so others can tune into theirs. You save yourself, honey. Save yourself. Okay? Inner knowing. I'm brave as fuck. My spirit knew everything I would go through and still chose to be here. Boo, you are the realest to do it. Okay? I love you, Capricorn. One of my favorite signs as a Scorpio. I love you so much. All right, baby dolls. Um, that is all I have for you. Again, happy Capricorn season. Start taking care of yourself. You do not deserve to be with funky ass broke energy. I love you so much. Thank you. And remember, we are magic and we are one. Have a good one.